where he puts the personal effects while he's repairing a body. The bone box. You know, it is eerie conspiring with the Undertaker's daughter. I can't believe you actually did it. When we talked about it, I thought it was just a discussion. I didn't realize you'd already decided. You gave up waiting on your aunt? Well, Elodie, in a perfect world, my aunt would put me in her will. And then she dropped down dead right after. I'm kidding. Look, my uncle just passed, and Florence appreciates my kindness in helping her pack up and keep her company, but the will is her last thing on the mind right now. So then what made you decide? Well, remember the guy I was telling you about, Benji? He called me last night and he breathed some fire down my neck and he made it pretty clear that I'm out of time. You don't think you could have figured something out or compromised? Compromise? He doesn't sound like the negotiating type. I don't even know the guy. Besides, the thing with gambling is, the only thing you make faster than money is enemies. What? So you're pissed or something? No, it's just that... You're a good guy, Tom, trapped in a crappy situation. I get it, we both are, but you didn't consult me with all of this. I thought we were just talking about it. I... Where are the barrel packets? They're behind you. Top drawer, to the right. Got them? What's this? 
you're doing research? Yep. Impressed. Now, there's more to it than you think, Elodie. Like, for instance, fresh graves are best because the earth hasn't settled yet. Yeah, so digging is easier. Yeah, but on the other hand, loved ones tend to visit fresh graves. So you have to be more cautious. I know all this stuff. This was originally my idea, remember? Mm hmm Well, did you know that there are actually people who make a living grave robbing? Did you know that? I was shocked to find so many internet threads about it. Well, it's been done forever, and not just for the loot. In the 19th century, body snatchers would steal the corpses themselves and sell it for dissection or to medical schools for anatomy lectures. <laughs> Look inside, Jean Baptiste. He was a grave digger in Utah, and he would steal people's clothes to wear himself. A guy named Ed Gain did the same thing, only he would take their skin. Oh, that's lovely. So, I did the three we talked about. Everything in the file was listed. It was all exact. Ah, it was all here. None of them looked like they did in the pictures, that's for sure. It's a small town. I knew all of them. That little boy, he was Aaron's age. <laughs> You see, I knew you would have. You would have backed down. You would have tried to talk me out of it. Elodie, look at their pictures, okay? They're not people anymore. They're, they're rotting pieces of meat. And the trinkets, they're not doing them any good. So let's take advantage of it, okay? Anyway, don't you deal with this stuff helping your father out all the time? A fresh body is much different than one that's been kept weeks, months, years underground. Uh, can you leave those here, please? I only got to do three. Forget it. I gotta get back to work before my dad realizes I'm missing. Okay, but I wanted to go out there again. Then memorize the other names. You're not keeping the files. That's from the lady. Mary Klein. The little boy. Anders McGibbon, these people have names. This is from my uncle. Henry Weir. So how much is all this stuff worth? A few thousand, five, maybe six. It's not nearly enough. But I'll know more once the pawn shop opens. Don't worry, we'll still split it 50-50, okay? I don't like this. The only reason I'm even considering it is for my son. I know. I know. So listen, what's with the theatrics? Why crawl through the window and you can just get me on my phone? I tried. You didn't pick up. Plus, your aunt is creepy. If my phone is out there, I better find it before someone else does. Thomas? Hey, Aunt Florence. What were you laughing at? Oh, just something Henry said. Henry? Yeah, Henry, my husband. You are a widow, Aunt Florence, remember that? I don't mean something he said just now. I was remembering something he used to say. It's my eyes that are going, not my mind. He always thought I was mad as a March Hare for getting up so early. <laughs> he used to say, I'd like mornings a whole lot better if they started later. Speaking of, I saw you. I'm um, sorry, you what? Outside, taking a walk. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah. Trouble sleeping? I can move you to a... Another guest room if you think it's the best. No, I'm fine. Thank you so much. Okay. Hi, Florence. Hello, Elodie. So, Al was, um, she was just leaving on Florence. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll walk you out, Elodie. Speak to you soon, on Florence. Okay. See you in a bit. Sorry if I was 
Sorry if I was a little hard on you. Your hands, they're trembling. That's no, nothing. You're shaken up. I'm not shaken up. I'm just exhausted. And besides, do you know how much dirt there is in a hole that's four feet deep and eight feet long and three feet wide? None. There's just a hole. Smart Alec. I dug three graves. That's like almost 300 cubic feet. Impressive math. No wonder you're a good gambler. Well, usually. What? Uh, I've never noticed that figure before. Hey, look, you don't want to draw any more attention to yourself. Why don't you just let me get your phone? Wait here. But what if... What if your aunt sees you out there again and gets suspicious? Trust me. I'm right back. I'd say it was none of my business, but uh, since you're under my roof, it is. It's not what you think, Florence. Elodie's going through a messy divorce. I don't know what it is you're doing with her, but I think... I really... I promise you, there's nothing going on, okay? Okay. So why didn't I make her some coffee? Actually, if it's okay with you, I'm thinking that I might just take a nap and get some sleep. Sure. I'll just get some more work done. Okay. A bride called this morning frantic. Her wedding is this afternoon and her dress isn't right at all. You know, I'm telling you, why these girls go to these fancy tailors instead of starting with me, I will never know. There was this one woman, her dress was so badly made that it like fell apart. Florence, we I'm sorry. I'm just going to get some sleep, okay? Sure. Thank you. Hey. Hi. I miss you. I know. Mm -hmm. Stay forever. <laughs> well, we always said to death do us part, right? Mm -hmm. Much longer. As long as what?
kann? Tom, what is it? It's the bathroom. The bathroom. Flores, don't go in there. Why? Are you going to tell me what happened or not? It's the tub. Uh, I saw a spider. A spider? Henry had one just like this. Uh, Florence, uh, how about that coffee, huh? Coffee, okay, perfect. Al, you found it. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's me. Tom? Uh, was that you just now? Did you find my phone? Was what me? I don't know. I just got a call from my phone. It shut up and called her ID. Yeah, I answered, but it, uh, it was like static and breathing, I think. It was a bad connection. Listen, do you think someone could be messing with me? Who? I don't know, maybe someone saw me out there or, or realized that I dropped my phone. There's no one else out here. Look, you could have dropped it when you were filling in one of the graves, and now dirt is pressing in on it. Don't freak out just yet. Yeah. Okay? Okay. You think it's strange, don't you? Living so close to a cemetery. No, no, I just, I thought I heard something out there. Clanking chains and howling winds and disembodied voices. Some poor soul that's lost their way and Wandered across the street by mistake. Hmm. You don't believe in those things, do you, Florence? Well, I don't believe that spirits go just anywhere without a purpose, without a reason to reach back out to the living. But uh, yes, I do believe when these two worlds overlap, it's not accident. You're a skeptic. Nothing wrong with that, Tim. No, I just think that ghosts belong in storybooks. They belong in literature, not life, you know? Mm. No one can prove that they exist. No one can prove that they don't. Some people try so hard not to believe in things. I always say it's better to light a candle than to sit in the dark. You think I'm seen her? <laughs> no, I mean, of course not. We're not so very different, you and I. Both broke the mold and followed love to the States. I 
I don't know what I would have done without your support so soon after Henry's passing. I'm thankful for you. And helping me pack everything up so soon after. Yeah? You can be a bit distant at times, Tom, but there's this kindness in you. It's funny, you know, packing up all our stuff, mine and his. Oh, you know, sure, I'll unpack mine in a little apartment somewhere, but Henry's things, they'll, they'll stay in storage. I know they're just things, but after years and decades spent with someone, these things become more than just things. They, they take on a life of their own. They become a reminder. They become memories. <laughs> memories. Was what he wound up losing in the end. Eh? His last few days, he was, your uncle was different, Tom. He was, he was sick. And so reclusive that the local kids would make up stories about him. Even still, he'd be up there in his studio painting. There was always this little spark in him, the real him, no matter how, how dim. Deep down inside there, he was still my him. I like to think he's out there somewhere, at rest. It gives me peace to believe that there's something beyond all of this, you know. Can I ask you something? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, how did you get through it? I am... I'm not through it. People keep on telling me that... that it gets easier, you know? But so far it hasn't, Florence. So far, it hasn't. Thanks for the coffee. Of course. Do you mind getting the TV on your way out? Sorry, the door was open. <sighs> Sure, I'm jumpy this morning. Yeah. He's getting closer. What? The, the figure. You okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Never mind. So, anything? Nothing. I'm trying not to get carried away, but... What if someone knows? How could they? You were careful, right? Only you and I knew. You didn't talk to anyone, did you? No. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. So where's the box? Maybe I'm being paranoid, but it feels like someone's messing with me because earlier I could have sworn that I put everything in the box 
and then Florence walks in here, and then there is my uncle's watch right out in the open. What makes more sense? That someone's sneaking around undetected to taunt you, or that you just forgot to put it away? Jeez, your hands are dirty. Yeah. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? You know, I, I can't seem to get them clean. I should have gotten a safe. Maybe a better hiding spot would ease my mind. What are you thinking? It's my uncle's office. You know, Florence hasn't said I've been here since he passed. She wants to preserve it the way he left it, I think. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, don't worry. It's, no one will look in here. Just shh. first came to stay with Florence. I thought there might be something worth pocketing in here, but I think she knows every inch of this room. Shh. Eventually she would have noticed if we take anything. What is this? you to keep an eye out. What's this? I just found your gambling tickets, Tom. Why are you gambling? Uh, My hospital bills? I wanted to take care of you. This isn't the way. Tom? Did you find somewhere to hide it? Huh? Oh, Jesus sorry. Christ. I found a spot. Did you know him? My uncle? I was so young the last time I saw him. Huh. Not really. To be honest, I'd never even seen him until he passed. Florence called him a recluse. He was an artist, sequestered in this house, inspiring rumors around town. Yeah, she sent that too. What do people say about him? <sighs> All kinds of things. He was an agoraphobic or a serial killer. All kinds of things to add to his mystique. I think it's probably one of the reasons his painting sold so well. And the truth? I said, I didn't know him. I knew he had Alzheimer's pretty badly. I think it's most likely why he did it. Why he did what? Tom, you don't know how he died? No, oh, guess not. Well, your uncle may have been losing his mind, but somehow he remembered to save up the pills Florence brought him every day. He got really skilled at pretending to take them, and eventually he saved up enough to. He overdosed. There it is. There it is again. It's a, it's a bell. Like, like the kind you get on a bicycle as a kid. Did you hear that? No, I don't hear anything. <sighs> Are you sure you're all right? I don't know. I, I had this dream, and, and in it I heard that bell, and then I, I saw something. I saw something else. I mean, I thought that I was sleeping, and that I was already awake, but I don't know. I, I saw the bathtub full of blood and then that painting, and it was changing, and I know it's impossible for a painting to change composition, I know Wait, that. don't you get it? I get what? Think about it. These things you're describing, they're not random. It's the blood in the bathtub. Mary slit her wrists after she was stood up at the altar. Then that little boy, he was riding his bicycle when he was run off the road. That painting, subconsciously, on some level, I'm sure you suspected your uncle painted that. Your conscience is playing a trick on you. Conscience, Elodie, I don't.
don't feel guilty. I told you that, okay? I didn't sleep at all last night. And I had some whiskey, and I'm just... I'm feeling tired, that's okay, it. Okay, okay, all right. Ex exhaustion, <laughs> guilt, whatever. All I'm saying is that you read those files, and now your mind is filling it in. Okay? Yeah, maybe... Listen... Maybe you're right. I gotta get to work, and... I think you should just get some rest, okay? Okay. 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 <sighs> Let me know if you change your mind about that cup of coffee, okay? I'm so glad you stopped by. And your mom, how's she doing? Oh, she's doing great. She's going strong. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen her for a long time. Six months or so. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you guys are going to get together. So we should. Oh, Thomas, this is Alex Bur uh, Sheriff Burris. Right. Sheriff, this is my nephew, Thomas. Hey, good to meet you. It's good to meet you, too. Hey, Alex. Melody. What's, what's happening? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. A few neighbors reported some strange activity at the cemetery last night. I have an officer over there right now taking a quick look. You were outside this morning. Did you notice anything strange? No, uh, nothing. You sure? It's probably just some kids messing around. Officer Cade, did any of you notice anything um, unusual at the cemetery last night? No. No. Always oh, so serious, Cade. <laughs> I, for one, am glad that something in this town finally got me out of bed before noon. <laughs> well, my glee aside, we're sorry to have bothered you so early. We'll get out of your hair now. Good to see you, Florence. You too, Eric. Y'all have a good day. Uh, I'll walk out with you. Listen, uh... I'm sorry if I upset you earlier. Um, you, you didn't. You sure? Yeah. Yes, I promise you. Okay. Good. Back to work then, eh? You have a visitor in the main lobby. A visitor in the main lobby. Why are you gambling? Gambling. gambling. Tom? I'm sorry, uh, what? I said I'm cold. Are you cold? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Someone's walking over my grave, eh? Forget something? Hi. Oh, uh, you must be here for my aunt. She did mention you earlier. Come in. She's um, upstairs. Who is this? Hello?
Jesus, Florence. Did you see? See what? Uh, I heard music. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's mine. It's a gift. For me? I'm I'm so sorry, Florence. I shouldn't have come in here, but you know, I wanted to find a spot that you wouldn't have found it. No, no, it's it's all right. It's sweet of you too. Uh, I promise not to go nosing around till you're ready. Mm. We're going to have to finish packing up this room eventually, anyway. What were you talking about uh, before? You said, did you see? Oh, a, a boy, a bride. Um, I wanted to make sure that the bride found you. The bride? Yeah, whose dress you're fixing. Oh, oh yes, no, she called. Um, there's too much going on with the wedding and she won't be able to make it over here after all. Wait, so you're not working on her dress here at the house? No, like I said, she's too busy. I have to go to her. Anyway, I, I should just get going now. I shouldn't be long, Tom. See you just now. Who the hell is this? Tom? Elodie? Jesus. After those cops showed up, I wanted to check up on you. Are you okay? Uh, I'm not sure. Just when I convinced myself that I imagined that something else happens. What happened? I, don't know, I, I can't explain it. It just... <sighs> okay. It feels like I'm losing it. Why'd you answer the phone like that? Who do you think was calling? Well, they called me again from my phone, whoever it is. Did you call back? Earlier, I got voicemail. Yeah. Okay. I will. Tom, do you want me to come back? Mm -mm. I'll be fine. Is that yours?
Where did you find it? It is. I was on my way out and I saw it just sitting on the stoop. I lost it on my walk. Looks like you have a guardian angel. Ah, uh, I should get this. Hello. Rise and shine, Tommy boy. Where the hell you been? Benji, listen, I'm sorry, I lost my phone. Huh. Quite a hefty sum. Listen, I'm getting your money, I swear. In fact, I have some of it already. You want to avoid me. You want to lie to me. Fine. But a guy who gives you the run around like this? I'm not ignoring you, Benji. I told you, I just lost. Your phone. Yes, you said that. You also say you have money. I'll see about that shortly. Wait. Hello, Benji. What do you mean? You need money? Is it serious? I mean, I didn't think so at first. I've... I've lost bets before, but... Why didn't you say something sooner? How much? Tell me. It's 20,000. I'll stop by the bank on my way home. Wait, you'll give me the money, and just like that? Your family, Thomas. And after everything you've been through, what with Claire's passing, I think you could use a clean slate. <laughs> Is there anything else bothering you? No, um, I am, everything's fine. All right, I really have to get going now. Florence. Yeah. Well, thank you. Mm. I'm happy to help. You're off this so fast. Who are you? Oh, you're hurting my feelings. You don't recognize my voice? Benji? Oh, you're a lot smarter than you look. How did you find me here? You know, that's not important, Tommy boy. Ow. You know what is important, though? No. That we have a little discussion. No, 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 no. Inside. Now, I know you're a gambling man, Tom, but do you want to keep on gambling with your life? I heard about you. Yeah, I did, about your wife, about your self-medication, your addiction. But look at me, Tom. When your problem becomes my problem, that just doesn't fly with me. My aunt's getting the money, Benji, this afternoon. This afternoon? Yeah. I seem to remember you telling me that you already had some of my money. I, yeah, I'm not exactly. Not exactly. But I will, I swear, I'll, I'll have it, okay? Tom, I can be a patient guy. I can, but you cheated me. You came into my establishment and you cheated. 
Now you brought this on yourself, so I'm gonna need my money today. Okay, 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 okay. Okay? Okay. 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 How do I know that you know I'm serious? I know you're serious. Trust me, I'll, I'll, I swear I'll get you the money. I'll get it. Okay, come in. Come in. It's all right. You okay? Mm-hmm. Now you know. about 30 minutes ago. Police have released the name of a local boy, Anders McGibbons, as the victim of a hit and run this afternoon. Despite suffering severe head trauma and multiple broken bones, Anders managed to ride his mangled bicycle half a block home before sadly dying en route to the hospital. Police have yet to apprehend a suspect. We did talk to some of the witnesses who were here just after the incident occurred. As I was walking on the sidewalk, Boy came on the bicycle in the middle of the road, not paying any attention. Next moment, a crash, and the boy was hit by a car. And a moment later, actually, the, the ambulance came. And Turn the files, but decided to check on you first. What's going on? Oh, we gotta get out of here, okay? What? What happened to your face? We just need to go. You? Well, who are you talking to? Oh, not here. We just gotta go. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is. Th this is the woman I saw. This is her. What? You but mean? These are the people that I've been seeing around no, no, the no. house. Um, oh, that's God. not possible. I took from them. They must be yet another they followed me here. I mean... At first it was glimpses and I thought it was in my head, but now they're getting closer. It is all in your head. Oh, don't you think I want to believe that? But you've seen these photos before. You knew what they looked like. No, 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 no. Don't do that to me again. 
Okay? I'm not imagining this. They're tearing at the seams in my head. Something's going on. This house, it's freezing, and they're painting. Oh, look at the painting. Look at it. It's changing, Elodie. Okay, maybe the thermostat is broken, or you just didn't get a good, good look at the painting. That's not it. Then what? You're being haunted? Look around you. There's no one here. They're here. And you know exactly why they're here. You're just feeling guilty. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's what? it. Where are you going? I'll take it all back. No, no, no. Wait. Back. Yeah, my aunt, she's bringing me the money. I'll just return everything that I took. No. No, you can't do that. Don't you forget you gave me those files. Okay, you're in this just as much as I am. Sheriff. You're bleeding it. You okay? Yeah. He just had a, a nosebleed. A nosebleed? What are you guys doing here? We, um... Well, it's... Tom, I'm afraid that we have some bad news. It's your aunt, Florence. She was in an accident. Well, is she, is she okay? No, no, I'm afraid not. She was driving into town in a semi. It was quick, painless. She didn't feel anything. We're truly sorry. Florence, she was an amazing woman. Everybody in this town loved her. Can you guys come in later? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring him into town. <sighs> All right. Sorry for your loss. There's something off about that guy. What do you expect? We just delivered horrible news. No, you mean I just delivered horrible news. It's not what I'm talking about. There's something else off, I'm telling you. I'm just gonna go. You mean for good? Yeah. I'm gonna take the box. I'm gonna sell everything. Maybe they won't follow me. <laughs> what happened to making things right? Making things. I don't have a choice, Elodie. I do not have the money anymore, okay? So I don't have a choice. I'm as good as dead, just like them, just like Florence. Dead! What if these things, if, what if they keep following you? Oh, so now you believe me, huh? No, I don't. But if these things are in your head, they're going to linger wherever you go. What do you want from me? You want me to come clean? Is that what you want? Yes. Maybe we should come clean. Maybe we should come clean? Yes. Elodie, it's a felony what we did. You and I, it's a crime. Is that what you want? Five years in prison? Think about your son. How's it gonna sound to a judge? At a custody hearing, you're gonna lose him. Lose him. And he's gonna stay with that husband of yours that you're trying so hard to get out of your life. Is that worth it? Huh? Tom, stop. Just stop for a second. If you had any sense, you'd take what we can hawk and just get out of here and never come back. Your aunt is dead. Your own flesh and blood, don't you even care? Of course I care. We just don't have the time right now. Well, how far are you willing to go with this? Look what your, your greed is doing to you. I bet if your aunt wrote you into her will, you would have killed her just to expedite the process. I shouldn't have said that. I'm, I, know, I know you wouldn't have done that. <sighs> Jesus, man. 
Maybe you're right. Maybe we should just, let's just go. Let's run away from all this. Let's take my son, we'll go far away and we'll never look back. We'll start over. I'm sorry. I don't know how things got so out of control. I don't, I didn't think this would take such a toll on you. I came up with this idea, but I didn't think you were actually gonna do it. You don't know how expensive a divorce is, and I was, I was, my son. I cannot lose my son. You used me. You used me. Yeah, no. yeah, you did. You did, I was your pawn. You would have never done this, Elodie. You made me do the dirty work. What? Good job. A semi truck jackknife causing a fatal collision. It's tough to tell that there was even a crash. What's going on? But below this overpass, there is some trouble. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Where are we going? Go to the bedroom. You're supposed to be dead! your eyes. Just listen to me, Tom. Breathe. Calm down. There's no one there. Think of something calm. Relax. It's all in your mind. Breathe. When you open your eyes, you'll see there's no one there. Now open them. Uh, I need a drink. Better? Yeah, a bit. <clears throat> Have you eaten today? Oh. You should eat something. Mm -hmm. uh, Who's this? It's, um, it's my wife, Claire. <clears throat> You're married? Yeah, I was. What happened? Uh, cancer. A year ago. Oh. I can take a look at your nose now. 
Here, sit down. Mm. Well, it's not broken. Mm. So, what now? What do you mean? The bone box, what are we going to do with everything? Are you going to sell everything? I told you. <sighs> You're prepared to take this to your grave, aren't you? I told you, it's just a little spooked is all. I don't think returning everything and coming clean is going to do us any good, buddy. You think my nose looks bad now? At least I'm still alive. <sighs> you haven't learned a thing. You know, all this talk about coming clean and running away, it sounds to me like you're the one that's guilty. Ouch! How did you lose your way? Did it start with losing her? Think about your wife. How would you feel if someone dug her up? Rubbing. Um, yeah, I think Florence has some in the bathroom. Where? Just inside the cabinet. Um, I'll get it. Mm. You know, Al, maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> maybe I'm lost, but uh, this is the only way I can see out of this. Tom? On Florence? I was happy to have Did you find it?
I got a little impatient, Tom. But your girlfriend here, she told me that uh, you have my money. Kai, uh, yeah, that's right in this box, Benji. Jesus Christ. Wrap that up or something. Before you say anything, what the hell is this? Is this a joke? Are you guys trying to make a fool out of me? What am I supposed to do with this? I was gonna sell it. No, Tom, this is not enough. This is not nearly enough. You know what this does here? It puts a Band-Aid over a bullet hole. Tom, I need my money. I need my money. And I need it now! Benji, please. Listen, I have more stuff. It's all over the house. I've been more than patient with you, Tom. <laughs> now I'm done. Tom! Stay back. Lock the door. <laughs> Shit. Is that what you told them? You know what they used to do, Tom? They used to cut the hands off of thieves as punishment. Don't worry. I'm not gonna kill you, Tom. I'm just gonna teach you not to take what isn't yours. No, no, no. Let this be a reminder. It's okay, Liddy. It's okay now. It's okay. <laughs> you killed him? It's good. It's good. We're good. <laughs> there are no ghosts. And I don't owe anybody money anymore. I'm fine. We're fine. <laughs> uh, mm. Oh my god, you've lost it. <sighs> no, it's no 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 no. It's good. It's good, okay? Okay. We're good. Take some responsibility for your own actions, too. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, maybe on some level. You're right, maybe I was. Maybe I was using you, but. Tom! You robbed those graves without me! in your room. Okay. Come, let's hide the body. What? Okay. No. No, we can think of something. Just help me. No, Tom. Just stop. <laughs> stop. Listen. Look around. Think what you've done, what we've done. This needs to end. It needs to end right now. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. 
Drop no. the knife. No. Drop the knife, Tom. Drop the I knife. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, Sarah. Just put it down, Tom. Thomas, stop what you're doing. Just tell us what happened, man. No, let me go, please. Thomas! Please, what do you mean? Right here. What do you want from me? Okay, I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. I stole from you. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm greedy. I'm selfish. I'm alone. I'm so sorry. Please, just please. God, please, just leave me alone. Just leave me. Just leave me. 